What's up guys, it's Eric, I'm in the studio. I got something new here. Uh, I mean, very excited about this. Uh, it's something we've all been waiting for, uh, very much anticipated. This is the uh, Creighton 8S 1 5th scale truck. I mean, super, super massive. First off, look at those massive uh, Copperhead 2 tires. <laughs> the uh, uh, designing on this thing is just absolutely amazing. Let's get you a little look at it there. Uh, the body, first off, the body, I mean, has really, uh, really cool graphics. Uh, really digging this orange color. It's like orange and silver and black. Uh, different shades of orange. And everything on this truck is just is just really beefy. Uh, uh, one really sweet thing, first off, is the body clips. It's got the little uh, protectors here. You know, you run your clip through it to help protect the uh, body hole and the uh, uh, shock post, which is which is really cool. Again, uh, Armin just pays attention to detail, and, and it just really shows in this truck. Um, it's got the roof skids on it right here. Uh, the body, you know, does feel, you know, pretty thick. And just real and quick on the box here, just to kind of give you an idea. It does have a Spectrum electronic system in it. Um, it's got the uh, Spectrum DX2 uh, transmitter with uh, AVC. And then it's got a 40 uh, kilogram uh, steering servo Spectrum, which it does have plenty of torque. Uh, my first test in the yard in the street with it, it, it definitely turns those big tires. And it's got the uh, 160 amp ESC 6 to 8S capable, which is basically like a Max 6. Uh, then it's got the uh, the Spectrum motor, which is 1,250 kV. And one really sweet thing okay. about this electronic system is it's got the smart technology in it. Um, like right here, um, you can get this uh, this Bluetooth module to uh, plug in, and then you can pull up uh, through your phone in the app. It's got a free app. Um, you can get your um, you know ESC temperatures, um, you know pretty much all uh, features in real time, uh, uh, receiver voltage, uh, drive pack voltage, motor RPM, speed. Um, the app is free and then you can get the adoptional speedometer as an add-on. It looks like it goes onto your remote. It does. Uh, you can get an optional pinion for it, but you have to order that, um, to get that claim 55 miles an hour. Uh, this thing is, you know, around 40 or so, uh, upper thirties, low forties out of the box. Uh, I guess, you know, depending on your battery setup on an 8S. Uh, we'll just pop the lid here real quick. It does have some aluminum, uh, chassis braces, uh, which, which is, uh, definitely nice. Uh, front and rear and of course your tower to tower and it looks like it's got like a quick release right here with just with the, with the pins um, The body mounts has nice uh, flexible body mounts here the way they've designed that so if you have any hard rolls and stuff like that It'll definitely take some of the impact um, It's got a four mil chassis. It looks like oh, look at that guys right on the side skirt <laughs> it can't miss it. here um, You can see I mean it does have plastic shock towers, but they are super thick it does have a, a 20 millimeter shock shafts all the way around, which is super beefy. Um, even the bulkheads right here, if you can see, I mean, they're like they're like an inch thick, and the shock towers. <laughs> so it shouldn't have any issues with that breaking, you know. Uh, it's got massive uh, arms on it, it's really got, thick. It's got a heat sink and a fan, you know, which is really nice. Heat uh, help keep that motor cool. Um, it does have CVDs all the way around, uh, front and rear. Um, and just to give you a quick, just a quick idea of the shocks, I got a 6S shock here, and you can see the difference. I mean, it just dwarfs it. It's way bigger and way thicker. <laughs> and just to give you an idea of just how big the shocks are. And it's got very good dampening. The shocks feel really good, so it should definitely uh, take some, you know, you know, take some nice landings and, uh, you know, also handle, handle good. So it's got a really thick tower. I mean, a super uh, beefy tower there. Uh... I'm sure Voss will give you a really good unboxing of this truck and go through all the details of it, you know, from front to rear. I'm just giving you a quick idea, you know, before I hit it up in the bash field. I'm, I'm going to give it a, a uh, just a bone stock run. It's clean out of the box. Um, I did uh, turn up the ESC to uh, punch five, though, which is max punch. That's, that's the only thing I did. That's pretty much what I do to any truck that I get straight out of the gate. Um, but the chassis, as you can see, once again, I'm paying attention to detail. It's got a nice skid plate there. It's got really cool graphics, all the armor graphics. And it does have uh, some extra bracing in the chassis right here, which is bolted you know, to the inside, which I'll show you in a second. Just to help keep that, help keep the chassis uh, straight. I mean, look at these arms. <laughs> and it does have your pillow balls up front, uh, hubs and stuff, but they're but they're you know about three times the size of a 6S truck. And uh, as you can see, it may be hard to see in here with the light, but in the rear where it's where it bolts the uh right, bracing guys, i just want to give you a quick look of it uh before i you know get it out for for a first dirt run um you know, like i said i do plan on running it stock first uh before i gear it up and uh you know get some get some craziness going so 
I just want to give her a nice run straight out of the box for you, just, just so you can see how it is. All right, guys, let's see what's up. All right, guys, got it out here in the dirt. We're just going to give it a quick run. Like I said, just, uh, you know, box stock, except for the ESC turned up to the max punch, which is punch five. So uh, we're just going to give her a quick rip, see how it goes. <laughs> Got some get up and go for a big fifth scale truck. Definitely uh, is gonna have to gonna have to gear it up though. Oh. Oh man, that was close. Oh, guys, this thing's a trip. Oh, old durability test. Nice front flip save. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Yeah, the thing with this, uh, guys, is especially with the stock gearing, if you go to do a jump. You gotta stay on the throttle so she don't uh, nose dive. Oh.
<laughs> that was a bit rough. Nothing the old fifth scale Creighton can't handle. LVC. Well guys, I am thoroughly impressed. I mean, for a stock truck, <laughs> this thing's a freaking beast. I mean, yeah, it could use a little more uh, power. Uh, you know, probably just through gearing would definitely solve that. I mean, it's got a very conservative uh, opinion on it. Uh, I don't see any brakes on this thing. The chassis still looks straight. All right guys, I'm back at the truck. I'm gonna check the temps real quick. Uh, like I said, that was a uh, pretty hard running pretty much staying full throttle on the motor I'm not sure if you can see it, but the motors at about 115 On the rear ESC ESC is about 90 90.1 That's not too bad at all for just uh got 86 on this side So that's not too bad for full board driving so that definitely leaves room to uh to up gear it I mean, this thing does have have some uh, have some serious torque in it. You can tell. Um, like I said, just off the jumps, you just need to stay in the throttle to keep the nose up. Um, you know, if you're running it just bone stock, but it was a definite blast. I mean, this there's there's uh, nothing broken on it. Just got to clean it up really good. It's a pure tank. Uh, big shout out to Arma once again. All right, guys. Until next time, RCD Day One. Peace out.